Hi, this is Gareth Kentish, and today's video is about deciding on what pages to include in your product website. Now, I use the Optimize Press theme for WordPress, really because it enables me to create neat-looking membership sites and with some ease. So, as an example, you can see on the screen the home page or dashboard of the List Money Generator program. And from here, you can access the pages by running along the menu bar option, which is what I'm doing right now. Okay, so I'll just quickly summarize what each of the pages represents, and then I'll go into more detail by clicking on the dashboard within the administration area up here. So, firstly, the Earn Money page is really where I provide tools to allow my potential affiliated partners to use these tools to promote this very product. Now, the free page is really where I provide a report, a small report, really to allow my members to test the content of the quality of my material before making that investment. And the ebook page, well, really, this is the main reference book where members have actually paid to access this material. In the videos and files section, this is really a page which highlights or provides links to the videos and templates, making it easy for my clients to access this material without having to scroll through the main reference book. The resource page, well, this is really additional material relevant to the product itself and also include third-party products within this section. The gold stuff page, this is really for my elite members who have paid a premium to access sort of more information relevant to the material of the list money generator. The support page, well, that's self-explanatory, it's a tool that allows me to manage any of the trouble tickets that are raised within the site and log out I guess is self-explanatory. So that's a quick summary of the pages. We can now go into more detail behind each page because each of the pages are broken down into various categories and I think it's relevant to mention these categories. Okay, so I'm now in the dashboard behind List Money Generator and I want to show you the optimized press settings and you should see the button here in the left hand side of your screen and we'll go to general settings and it's here I can then allocate a specific category against the pages that I create for my website and I use mainly three categories one general settings, two membership settings, and three blog settings. So, for example, general settings would include pages like my sales pages. Um, for membership settings, well, these would be the pages that would be accessible for any of my members who have registered their name and email to access the site. And the blog settings, well, I guess self-explanatory, that's for my blog that I also include within the members site. And in this section of Optimize Press, I'm able to make the adjustments to affect the look and feel of my website. So, for example, for my general setting pages, I've put an image here in this field which shows the header bar for the site. And likewise, in the members setting, I've done exactly the same by placing a header in this field and so on. It's fairly self-explanatory, um, but I'll show you now how to align the categories to each of these settings as you add pages to your website. Okay, so I'm going to add a new page to my members site and I use the standard page feature within WordPress and I'm going to click on pages and add new button here and that then gives me the screen to add the new page. And I'm going to add this page into the gold members area. So if I just flick back to the website, List Money Generator, yeah, I'm going to add the new page under this heading here. So let's just go back to the dashboard and I'm going to add a blog reports page into the system. In other words, I'm going to give the reader the opportunity to read a report written by an expert on how to write blogs. So 
I'm just going to say here is a fantastic report for you regarding blogs. And then I'm going to use some of the features that are built into Optimize Press to allow me to, in this particular example, download a PDF file. And what I've just done now, just go back, I've just clicked on this button here, which gives me short code buttons. So I'll click on that. And then I'm going to select the PDF download button, which is somewhere down here. There it is. I'm going to click on that one. And I'm happy with that. And I'm now going to add that to the page. And you'll see then I get this sort of script writing here. And this is a feature that exists right throughout Optimized Press. So I would suggest you experiment with those short code features. And in this example, I've loaded my report called blog report on my server. So I'm just going to type the address of that. And it's called blog report. PDF. Happy with that. Your download item here, I'll just call that here. Free blog report. Happy with that. And now what I wanted to do is show you how I categorize the pages that I add to my website by using the feature here on the right hand side. You can see the pull down menus here. And I'm going to set the parent option as gold stuff, which I showed you earlier. There it is, gold stuff. And I'm also going to now select a template. And you can see here that the template is broken into those categories. You can see I've got blog here and I've got members and I've also got sales, which are the three main categories that you can use within Optimize Press. So in this example, I'm going to stick with this one, members one content free. I'm going to publish that and then I'm going to see what it looks like. View the page and hopefully I've got my site looking reasonable with a very small amount of effort. Now I need to check whether this page actually works for me. So the first thing I want to do is check whether the report is able to be downloaded successfully. So I'll click on the link here. And it looks like it, it does work well, but I do have um, a slight problem because I like the report to open up in a new tab, which it hasn't done here. So I need to fix that. So let's make a note of that. And secondly, I've also noticed that the page doesn't seem to appear under the menu item gold stuff. So I also have to fix that as well. The other thing I'd like to elaborate on here is to show you how I've actually configured this page within the members category. So I'll need to show you how to do that as well. And the way to do that is to click on the edit page option, which go, allows me to go back into the administration area. So let's firstly fix the new tab option when the report's downloaded. And you can do that by just making a slight adjustment to this code here. And you can see that it's got here underscore self. Now I know that if I type in underscore blank, it will then, when you press the link button, open up a new tab. So I've fixed that one, which is good. So I'll update that. The next thing I'll do is I'll show you some of the parameters that are available within the membership category. Now, because this has been assigned as a members page here, the bit that you need to consider is this one here, membership options. The other categories like launch and squeeze are irrelevant to this page purely because of the setting of the template that you have done here. So let's have a look at the members option. And you can see if I go into the general options, I can then set up the 
heading, which has already been set up as yes. Um, I can also set up a sidebar, which is something I do want to do later on. So I'll click on that. And I also want to exclude the module title from the page itself. I'm happy with that. And then I'll click on the update button, like so. Now I'll also show you a little bit further down how I can protect this page because it's set up in the gold members area. So I just click on the wishlist member button here saying yes, protect this content for members only and only allow gold members to have access to this page. So I can set that up as well. Click on the update button and I'm happy with that. Now the last item that uh, needs to be fixed is for it to appear under the, go the gold stuff menu option. So I go to appearance here click on menus. Now what should happen is the blog report page should appear in this section here under pages. So let's just see whether I've got that. There it is, blog report. Click on that page, add it to the main menu. And I'm now going to stick this page under the gold stuff area. So I'm going to stick it, uh, I'll stick it here, blog report and then I'll save the menu. Now what I have done here within the menus environment, I've actually set up names for my menus and this one's called list money and then I've built the menu accordingly and then I've set it under the menu ship, membership menu option here. So I can create several different types of menus for each of the respective categories. Now if I save the menu and then go back to the main page, you should see now that I have fixed those problems. Let's have a quick look and see whether, firstly, the blog report does appear, which is great. So let's click on that. That's fixed. The other thing, of course, is I want to see whether it opens up a new tab. And yes, it has. So I hope that's been helpful. My name's Gareth Kentish. Thanks again for watching.